Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade this 9.4 inch ANC screen from one CCFL to our UB uh, 35 series LED kit. This LED kit comes with the one LED driver, MS610 uh, UB, one wire adapters, so one LED strips. So it's quite easy. Let me take a look at the screen, set aside the LD kit for a second. This is make my NEC. It's a really old screen. You see this? NL664AC30-10. NL6. Let me see. You see? Yeah, now you see better. NL644AC30-10. So it's 9.4 uh, inch. Here's the LS, the single lamp. This is a cable. To remove it, it's quite easy. There's two screws holding the inverter. Okay. And uh, remove the screws that holding the old inverter. We don't need the inverter anymore. Then what you do is that you push this one up. Okay, see this? Take it out. See this? Then you push it out, take it out. You move the wires, flip over, and grab the wire, disconnect the lamp. The lamp is here. There's one screw you need to remove it. Okay. So, um, okay. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, the refractors. So, we're going to mount. The LED strip right back to the same reflector, slide slide back. But first, we had to remove this lamp first. It was solder one side, so um, it's here. All right. So I'm gonna desolder it. Hello. I just desolder the lamps here. You see um, this one end here. I desolder this end and desolder this wire. So basically, if you don't have solder station, you can use a wire cutter to cut this end off and then cut this wire off. Um, so right now, we're gonna try to position a little bit. When you see, you see this? It's double side tape's a little bit thicker because the wrong bottom is not flat, it's wrong. So it's peel off the double side tape, but you have to be careful. Uh, yeah, I, here's what I would like to do. Just be careful. All right. So one second at a time, make sure the LD strip at the bottom is flat. So that way it's easier. All right. So let me see this end, see what's going on here, see. Okay, so let's see this end. Okay. You see this? So, we're just going to slice right back. Just like that. Okay, here we go. Okay. You put the screw on back to that holding this reflectors all right so <clears throat> this is how we're going to mount the drivers so and then you can uh, move this connectors i mean this weaving cable this end just pull it out all right you take it out just like that okay so this end connects to here this is the drivers mount it here okay so okay we had just removed the wires and we're gonna try to mount the uh, inverters basically you're gonna peel off this thing but I want to you can mount it either way you can mount it this way you see this because the lens or you can mount it up this way and you can mount in between this but I would like mine in between this so you had to cut off this two plastic uh, hole all right 
So you cut it off. See this? Cut off. Okay, let me so a little bit of stuff here. Okay. Want to make it look good so you can cut a little bit flat. Use the blade. And uh, but that this is this is I think this is good enough. Alright. Yeah, that's good. That's that's good. Okay. Now <clears throat> before you mount it back, you connect this to here. Connect this to here. And then you you kind of, you know, align in the position a little bit and then you peel off this double side tape on the back. So this is it. Yeah, perfect. All right, it's done, almost. Then you're gonna flip over this one. You can go like this, same thing. Or you can just go like this, it's either way. But if you want to make it look better, so we could do like this. Yeah. Yeah. You can still do like this. Alright. Okay. So we'll just put it in. Okay. Then a couple of the wires, I mean tapes to secure the wires. This one you can do like this. Just like this. That's good enough. Okay, this one. Go by the same way. Alright. I'm gonna need the tips here. easy so basically you remove the old inverter pull out the refactor put the LED back and connect it back because this kit is so handy and it comes with the wire adapters everything so basically just plug and play and the only thing you need to do is soldering station is up to you you can use wire wire cutter to cut off the wires and uh, that's it thank you for watching